guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to episode 233 of the Learn and Explorer series. And today's topic, metal prints. Now, today's guest is bringing innovation to the metal print industry. Photography talkers, we have a great show in store for you. Matter of fact, today's guest is all the way from Kansas City. Industry expert, Ben Gasser with Metal Mouth Prints. Ben, my friend, what do you say? You ready to get this going? Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, folks, Ben is the founder behind the popular Metal Mouth Prints, a company that's been focusing on fine art metal prints for some time. Now, Ben, I've given our listeners just a taste of what you and I are going to be talking about before we dive into your questions. Can you take a moment, share with our listeners a little bit about yourself? So I'm from Kansas City, grew up here, stayed here all my life. I'm married with four kids and two dogs. And uh, we uh, live in a beautiful house in a, a suburb of Kansas City, Missouri, with, uh, and are fans of the uh, Kansas City Royals and the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. So uh, we enjoy doing outdoor things on the weekends, and I uh, came into uh, this industry enjoying photography and the outdoors. Now, you guys get snow out there, do you not, during the winters? Absolutely. Yeah, we get snow, we get rain, we get the whole nine yards. Ben, we're about to jump into your questions here. To get the ball going, what has you most excited about the photography industry right now, today? Uh, right now, the uh, fact that uh, more and more people actually are getting involved in analog. That is probably the more interest most interesting thing is how people are picking up film again, Polaroids, and uh, trying to develop a darkroom again. So that's probably the most interesting thing. It's funny that you bring that up. I just bought a uh, Pentax K1000 uh, three weeks ago. So yes, I can see where you're leading with that. Let's have, let's do a little fun here. Let's start off with the very basics. So if somebody has been underneath the rock and is not familiar with Metal Mounts Print, what are you guys? We are a small uh, fine art print company here in the Midwest in Kansas City. And our specialization has been high quality dye sublimated uh, metal prints. So we that's what, all we do. How long have you guys been at this? We've been at this since about 2014, 2015. Let's, let's have a little fun here, Ben. Let's you and I, let's jump into the Wayback Machine. Let's go back to the very day, the very morning, back in 2014, you started this company. One day you woke up and that idea was there. What was the original inspiration for doing this? Well, I wanted an exit strategy from my previous uh, life as an IT person and uh, photography was going to be it but I also realized that uh, it was going to be a much harder road to uh, to uh, get through to be uh, successful as a photographer and I was very good at printing so I decided to uh, try to figure out a how to do metal prints and uh, especially after seeing an ad in I believe it was uh, well, one of the photography magazines I'd seen, Bay Photo, advertised metal prints. But there were only probably half a dozen companies even doing them at that time. But I was like, I think I'd like to do that and do it on a level that I can sell those prints. Now, on the photography side of things, were you landscape photographer, portrait? What was your what what pushed your buttons? I liked landscape photography and cityscape photography. I used to say, I don't want to take a picture that I've got to ask somebody to smile or move. <laughs> I like that. Now, Ben, going back to this here, when a company comes out with a comes to market rather with a new product or service, they generally have a particular avatar in mind that that product or service was intended to. When you came out with Metal Mouth Prints, who was that avatar here? So originally, my goal was to uh, get professional and amateur photographers to buy my product, and that rapidly changed to trying to get the Comic-Con uh, artist interested in the product after being drugged to a Comic-Con event here in Kansas City by my children. So finding that they were not they were interested in the product, but it was not quite down their alley because of weight and price, I went back to photographers and artists. Gotcha. And hence the Iron Man behind you. Exactly. Exactly. What has been your proudest moment to date for Metal Mouth Prints? So there's two things that I'm really proud of. One was when Blake Rudis from F64 Academy had uh, done a review on our product and said we were the gold standard of fine art printing. That was, you know, a very positive moment in this business. And then the second one was when uh, one of the salespeople from Leica 
had ordered prints from us and then had ordered some one print to go in the Leica flagship store in L.A. And it was there in 2018. I'm going to take a, a side note here. So photography talkers, it's funny that you've been just shared that the gold standard uh, and prior to I received the package let's see I was out in Arizona recently uh, and I got back and I had a package that of course Ben had sent me and I'm gonna say you're saying the gold standard and I and I get where gold standard come from but folks I'm gonna I'm gonna put Ben on the spot here because you no, know, not the gold standard you know you have you have bronze silver gold then you have platinum diamond this is a print that ben just sent over to me and i'll dive into this more here in a bit um, but ben i'm gonna say you're more of a diamond you're not a gold this is one of the most impressive folks this is one of the most impressive prints that i have seen and again He's going to get into some questions here that I'm going to be asking pertaining to the framing and the process that he does. But yeah, it's, it's funny that you bring up gold standard. I'm going to say diamond, so I'm, I'm bringing you up a notch, notch there. <laughs> Let's talk about, you know, fast forward, 2014, you mentioned that there's not a lot of metal print companies out there. Fast forward, there are quite a handful of folks out there doing metal prints right now today. How do you feel? In 2021, how do you feel your prints are different from some of the other noise out in the marketplace? Well, our customers are our testament, and they attest that we, our prints are a step above our competition. You know, we definitely are into the details. That's the real key. Is we, and it's not just the details. It's we communicate with the customer if we have to via phone. We don't mind picking up the phone to call a customer. We don't mind if a customer picks up the phone and talks to us. In fact, we prefer it because it shortens the length of time to communicate with a customer. So if somebody sends us an image that doesn't have an ICC profile embedded in it, we want to reach out to them and make certain that there's something there that we're missing. If the, if the image is uh, subpar resolution-wise, we want to find out what's this print for? Because a print for your grandparents is not the same as a print for a, a customer that is, you know, let's say a commercial client. So it, they're two different types of customers. And the uh, and that's what's important to us. And that's what uh, makes us different. Uh, and again, another side note. And what you're sharing with me here, Ben, is absolutely music to the ears. And it's funny because we just got through filming uh, each year. You may or may not know this. Each year we have a canvas print shoot off where i will you know the first year we did this we compared three companies last year we compared seven companies this year we're care or we're, we're we're comparing 11 companies and one of the things that i do so i blind shop these companies and i will put this big god awful ugly logo in the lower left hand side of it and the, the premise behind this is to see who has a hands-on quality control uh, and this is really super important because if I'm understanding you guys are looking at each and every print that goes through which as a professional photographer when you're drop shipping a print to a client you may not ever see that print that print that first impression now becomes an extension of who you are as an artist as a professional and if a company is sending these things out looking sloppy uh, or there's imperfections because let's face it we're all human and as a photographer we may put something on there that we weren't thinking that day or you know just overlooked it's nice to have a company that is has some level of quality control that's looking at these things now you guys are you're a family-run business are you not that is correct we're family run all right so speaking of metal prints now you just released a new metal print that you brought to market. Can you expound on that? Right, that's the sample that you have in front of you, so or that you just showed before. And uh, basically, realize this is in a uh, the final stages of, stages of us uh, putting this uh, product together before it goes on the market. And the important thing about this is that it allows you to swap a print out from the front of the frame after hanging the print on the wall. Um, and it's all uh, put together by, you know, with our uh, patented 10-man uh, magnetic mounts, and they're adhered into the frame, and then the print snaps in and out. So that's the advantages to it. Super cool. So to help 
everybody get their arms around this, you've created a modular frame system that will allow you to quickly and easily swap out your metal prints while the frame remains on the wall. Is that correct? That is correct. You basically, uh, when the frame's hanging on the wall, you basically pop it off with your fingers and then pop it back on, pop the other print back on, and there's no tools involved whatsoever. Yeah, as we've, we've spoken, that is when, as photographers, as somebody that's actively always out there, one of our biggest commodities that we, we have is wall space. And so that's fantastic. It allows you to swap these things out. Now, also I noticed on the back, there's mounting hardware. So to just to clarify, when this is not, in the frame itself, is this meant to be hung on the wall by itself? Absolutely, you can take that and hang it somewhere else in your home or office. Or if, let's say, you're the, uh, you know, you're selling your prints and you have that shown to a customer, you can actually pop that off the wall and sell them the print only and lo get them into that print at a lower price than including all the additional hardware that they may or may not want. But realize that with that frame. The, uh, it gives a very pleasant and in innovative presentation that you don't get without it. So I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that. What do you feel are the key benefits for this sort of frame? Well, first of all, it is, you know, it's, it's modern looking. It is, it's something different that you're not going to find at every, shall we say, art fair or every art gallery. So those are some things that are key selling points to anybody wanting to sell prints is having something that is unique and fresh looking. And that's what this is. And then having the ability to change prints out, you know, especially through the holidays. If you have this in, let's say, your living room or wherever, and you want to change the prints out to something with a Christmas theme or a Hanukkah theme, whichever, it allows you to do that. Yeah, so that's the advantages to it. I'm going to take a question towards metal prints in general. Um, what do you think is the biggest misconception that people have or photographers have with regards to metal prints? The biggest thing that I read about online is uh, a constant thread saying metal prints are not sharp. And that just is not true. It depends upon the printer and it depends upon the photographer and the preparation of the file sent to the printer. Years ago, uh, phase one introduced a 100 megapixel uh, back to the industry. There was a uh, photographer named Alexander Fleming who had a sample print on their site. I downloaded that sample print and printed it back here. It's a 30 by 40. That print, you can see every hair on that young lady's face. You can see the details in her eyes. It is all a matter of preparation. Brother, you nailed it on that. It's funny, the print, that, the sample that you had sent over, one of the things that I quickly admired and I noticed right off the get-go, and folks, this was all the detail in the leaves here. I was absolutely, because here's the thing, as many of you know, over the years, I have, I reviewed a lot of different metal prints. A lot of good, a lot of bad, uh, and very few really dip into that extraordinary. This is on the upper edge of extraordinary. That's how good, and it, it, it's funny because that a lot of, I think where that misconception that you talk about is there are a lot of companies out there that have bad print quali qualities, and that's where people get their hands on some of these prints where they aren't sharp. You guys, on the other hand, I mean, your printing process, everything about this is absolutely extraordinary, Ben. So kudos on that. Let's kind of have a continuation of that question. With so many companies out there that are now offering metal prints, and we've established, we, I think we can we could agree, there are companies out there that are doing a good job and companies that are doing a poor job. As a consumer, can you share with the folks here how you can tell the difference between a good metal print and a poor one? Well, it depends upon how you're looking at it. Like if you're at an art fair, you're going to be looking at different details than you would if you're, you know, just receiving it in the mail. You know, but the uh, key is, is, you know, if you need that sharpness, you're looking for that. One other option is, is color. But color is a very uh, delicate subject from, you know, from photographer to photographer. The other issue would be, Edge, uh, you know, what's your edges look like? A uh, lot of metal prints have a problem with chipping on the edge. 
and that's just the nature of the beast. But if you receive it and it's chipping, it's a lot, you know, you don't want that. You want it to be just pristine when you receive it. We've also seen sharp edges that uh, from companies because they don't try to make certain that the edge is smooth. The corners, whether they're rounded or whether they're squared, has nothing to do with anything. It's a personal preference. The uh, And then the last thing that is getting uh, a little bit harder to work with, but the manufacturer of the metal, you know, in their process, they have dimples and pimples in the metal, you know, in the coating that's on the metal, and that's getting harder and harder to find pristine metal all the way through. So as a vendor, we're trying to hide those defects as much as we can. And for the most part, you can't see those defects when you're looking at the print. We can see them because we know what we're looking for. But then again, the the end user, for the most part, is not seeing. I'm going to ask this question here, although since I've received the sample that you sent over, I have a good idea in my head. But again, we're speaking out loud here for folks that aren't familiar. And one of the things that I was amazed with or I had a question prior to receiving your print was, and it was a bit of a blunt one, you folks have really forged a solid reputation in this space. And I wanted to get your opinion. Why do you suppose photographers keep coming back to you over and over again for their metal prints? Well, at first it's the quality, but second, we have some unique uh, hanging and mounting options that are not available anywhere else. Our FMK product, we're the only company that provides that that I know of. The 10-man uh, magnetic mount is a patented product that we're the only ones who provide that at this time. The, uh, you know, and that is, we've been told by a lot of people that that is so unique, we should patent it. Well, it's already patented, so that's good. The, uh, you know, then the other thing is, is a lot of people really like that personal contact that we try to make with the customer to get them where they need to be with their prints and so forth. So those are, you know, those are the key things I think that really uh, bring us forward and bring people, continuously bring people back. You know, our boxing is probably better than most other companies. Um, you know, you saw the white gloves. That's not something that's really in very many places, but it does leave an impact. All right. Well, you reminded me of something, so I'm going to bring it up. So, folks, we're going to detour off this this uh, this interview just for a moment here because he's talking about white gloves right here, and it's funny because you'll see a review i'm going to be uh, publishing a review here shortly on these pre-production prints that i've received here but guys one thing i've i've i give this company credit for in the last 10 years there have been two companies that included white gloves and i think it is it's the the fine mint that is left on the pillow and during a turn down service at a, at a great hotel it's something that you don't see and another thing i want to point out you aren't kidding about your packaging that packaging is absolutely extraordinary. I'll give you guys massive props because a lot of companies, their, their shipping, their method of shipping, the uh, how they package things up, you open it up and the print's sliding all, all around and so forth. Your packaging was literally one of the best. So I'm gonna throw some props to you there. Definitely a big plus. Now, if you don't mind, I wanna circle back around to these new prints that you have over there. Can you expound a little bit upon what sizes the are, these are available in at right now? Uh, as soon as we get them on the website and finalize everything, uh, they'll be available in 20 by 30s and 30 by 45s. Shortly after that, we will probably go with a 24 by 36, but they'll never be available in anything smaller than a 16 by 24, and you'll never be able to buy them as a custom sized prop. So you have other sizes that will be added later down the line? Yeah, it'll be added It'll primarily be uh, driven by request from customers more than anything. The new print, how long does it take for you to swap out one of these prints? If you have it sitting right there, probably 30 seconds, at, you know, just, and that's if you're fumbling around. But the size is going to make a little bit of a difference, but for the most part, about 30 seconds at the most. And I will say, yes, it is very, very quick. But again, this is for the viewers here, so they have an idea of what it's like. But folks, it is, it takes you as long as to grab the print that's in there, put it down safely, grab the other and plop it up in there. You know, Ben, I will say this. One thing I'm very impressed with with the with the, the print is how well everything seats into the, the print itself there. Uh, and I think that goes a long way with, we're talking about speed it takes to put one print into the, the other and the precision that you guys put into 
the, the what would you call it? Would it be a jig in the frame that holds it in place? What would it be the correct term that you would use for that? Yeah, we use a jig to put everything together, and that was all, you know, cut by CNC machine, which we've got here, so. Very cool, very cool. Final question, and it's a fun one. What do you feel is the best single word that describes these prints? Innovative. Indeed they are. Now, Ben, you've provided so many excellent tips here for the listeners. Before we part ways, can you share with our listeners one final piece of advice also, where they can find you on the web, then we'll say goodbye. Okay, well, the one thing I can suggest is print, print, and print. And after you print, hang it on the wall so you can see your own work and walk by it every day till you're totally bored of it. And if you're never bored of it, then you've got a great print. That's what you need to do. Otherwise, it sits on your computer and you never see it unless you're just flipping through Lightroom. So that's my suggestion. The, uh, and you can reach us at MetalMouthPrints.com and also uh, MetalMouthPrints on Facebook. Great advice as well, Ben. Now, all you photography talkers, you want to learn more about metal prints, I'm going to highly recommend. Take a look at the link in the description below that will bring you directly over to their page. Ben, my friend, thank you very much for your generous time. We thank you. We're going to see you next time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.